Alessia Trost, one of the most promising young high jumpers in the world, spoke with us earlier today at the Sports Court Convention in Turkey about the IAAF's programme, Athletics for a Better World. Alessia, you're here at the Sport Accord Convention in Turkey and you took part in the Youth Club panel discussion this morning. Can you tell us what was talked about in that discussion this morning? Yeah, it was very interesting. We talked about social media, about uh, young people using this social media uh, to have a direct contact with um, fans, people, uh, kids and yeah, whatever it is around the, the, the world of, of, of sport. It was, it was interesting. There were journalists, young journalists, uh, there were athletes, uh, uh, there was Professor Andy Maya, he is uh, uh, responsible for Creative Institute of uh, the um, West University of, Scot of Scotland. So it was a great experience uh, sharing our thoughts about what, what is sport and what is uh, sport among young people. One of your panellists remarked that a lot of the people in federations and, and a lot of people here are sort of middle-aged men wearing suits and grey hair. How important is it to have young people like yourself represented giving their opinion here as well? I think uh, young people can bring new ideas uh, which need to be shared with those uh, adults. So middle-aged men uh, who have their own experience in business. So it's a uh, it's fresh air coming uh, but has to cope with old ideas uh, that's what business is about management is about that uh, it is important I think and, and you are a, a high profile athlete and, and you're a role model for a, a lot of a lot of young people how important is the way that you conduct yourself and appear on Twitter when you use your Twitter page? Yeah, it is important. Uh, we just said we need to be trained to do this, to do this, because uh, it's not easy. Uh, you also need to cope with the person you are. You, you have a, a public image, but you also have a private life. So what's going on with both of them? So uh, that's it. Uh, Twitter. Uh, pulls you closer to young people, to kids, uh, but at the same time can be a disadvantage because you can tell too much. Uh, we need to learn and I think young people is to use uh, that kind of social network more and more and more. So we really need to, to learn how to do it. And can you tell us a bit about the IAAF program that you're in, involved in at the moment? Yeah, it was uh, lunch on Tuesday. It is called Athletics for a Better World. Uh, the title says much. It is based on four pillars. It is they are um, peace, environment, health, uh, and social inclusion. Uh, yeah, it helps uh, those projects to be kept on. Uh, those uh, educational projects, uh, projects, uh, social projects. So everything which is. Uh, which is linking uh, athletics to uh, society and culture. And is this a global, all around the world project? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is. And, and can you tell us about your, your involvement in it? What, what you've been contributing to uh, it? Is, this project is represented by 12 ambassadors, uh, one of them, so I'm glad to be here and I'm very happy to stay among those uh, athletes, those are all those athlete, athletes which are my models. So going back to kids and, and models, yeah.